fish. Good morning, YouTube. Hey, we find the uh, heat finally broke. It was in the, I think it was in the uh, low 60s, upper 50s last night. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Love it. I'm actually chilly and I got a sweatshirt on. Well, I wanted to do a video on my Torque DORC T1 helmet. I've been meaning to do one. It's a two year, well, close to a two year review. I think I bought it in. I think I bought it in January 2020. So we'll say a year and nine month review. I like it. I actually, I actually like it a lot considering I don't have too much of a basis for full face helmets. The only full face helmets I've ever owned are dirt bike helmets. Which, I mean, they had that P, you know, the, the mouth guard used to, it, it felt like it was a half a mile away from your face. You know, all, everything was open, didn't make you feel claustrophobic. Well, when I got into motorcycles, I always wore half helmets. As I got older, as I got older, I tried uh, full face helmets. I tried uh one I don't remember what it was but it was your just your standard full face helmet you know way too tight on the cheeks uh way too too enclosed it's like you had no peripheral vision so I bought a modular helmet, which when the lid was closed, it was the same thing. But it wasn't bad when the lid was open, so I figured, okay, I can, you know, lift the lift the lid at stoplights and lift the visor and stuff like that. That was the helmet I was wearing in a couple of my first uh, videos, and that one I bought from Cycle Gear. Uh, it, it was better. Well, I, I was gonna buy a Bell Bullet, but I kept reading that the Bell Bullets have a round oval shape, where if you look at the top of my head, it looks, I'm a definitely an egghead. It's, you know, I, I would say I'm more of an intermediate to a long oval. It's to hold all the brains. Well, so I started looking around. I was going to buy one of those, and, yeah. I decided, let me look around a little bit more. So, I, just rummaging through, I found these things. These, uh, these Torque, Torque T1s, and I found a review on YouTube from a guy. And I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. I'll put it right down below. I don't think he does YouTube anymore. But it was a really good review. So I messaged him and see what, you know, actually what kind of shape the helmet was. And he said it was more of an intermediate oval. Huh. So I did a little more research, found out, yes, it is an intermediate oval. So I ordered it. Um, it, came, it came in the mail. I did a video on it when I first got it. That's just first impressions, but look at that. Uh, two years later, well, a year and nine months, sorry, I keep jumping time here. A year and nine months later, what I think of it, and I love it. Now, I still rock the half helmet majority of the time, unless I'm doing one of these, you know, a motor vlog, or uh, it, it, there's a chance of rain, or, you know, something like that. I'd normally carry it with me in the uh, in the pizza box, 
but it is extremely comfortable now my head is 23 inches almost on the nose and I ordered a medium it was a little tight around the forehead at first because like I said I think I'm a more of a more towards the long oval than the inter intermediate oval but all I did was push on that I think it's styrene push on that styrene over by my forehead a little bit and man it it is comfortable it breaks the wind pretty good uh, it breaks the wind pretty good it doesn't buff it at all uh, the ventilation isn't bad I mean I've worn it on some pretty hot days and it's not bad not it definitely isn't no half helmet look at this uh, 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 oh my god that's absolutely beautiful hopefully I can zoom in on that Yeah, I mean, the, the interior is extremely soft. Um, and a couple of people that I know have the Bell Bullet, like Nick, Jersey Nick Moto, he has the Bell Bullet. And it, the interior is pretty much the same, and it's, you know, half the price. The venting on it's a little different, where Nick has one uh, center vent on the chin, I have two. He has the three... Um, we'll call them portholes in the top I have two there's two closable vents and there's four vents four uh, exhaust vents in the back not much of a uh, Venturi back there but I don't think there's one on the belt bullet either uh, one thing I would suggest though is do not buy the mirrored shield buy the smoke one I bought the mirrored shield, and man, this thing, it's nothing but fingerprints. You can't see them from the inside, but it looks like crap from the outside. Anything you do to it, it's fingerprints on it. Um, the chin strap, while it would be better, I think, with a quick release, um, the chin strap is very soft. I would definitely recommend them, especially depending on head shape. If you're an intermediate oval or long, longer oval, I would definitely suggest this. Uh, if you're a full round, I would probably more go with the belt bullet. That that's that would be my suggestion. Now I don't know because I never tried one. I'm just going by what I was told, but. I would suggest one of those you know do your research do your due diligence other than that I love the helmet it's comfortable it's half the price of a bell bullet it you know it, it I like it I mean it's just a great helmet now what it's gonna do in a wreck I don't want to find out and I don't want anybody else to ever have to find out well that that's about it guys I'm just gonna enjoy my ride into work I'll leave the camera on for a little bit you enjoy it and uh, I'll talk to you cue music now
Thank you.